Well, I play uh, actually three characters. One character has two different versions. Uh, that's uh, There's Pat Bell and there's Bob West. And um, Pat Bell has uh, had a car accident and comes in with a head trauma. Uh, so he's uh, also got a bit of a cough. And then Bob West, uh, in one version of Bob West, he has dementia, a light case of dementia, and is preparing for a birthday party for his wife who died quite a few years earlier and he doesn't realize it. And in another version, depending on what the student needs, uh, then uh, Bob has a, uh, a knee, has a, a knee replacement and a bad chest cold. <laughs> What I find fascinating, I, I wasn't sure I would like doing this, you know, medical role play. Of course, acting is acting, whether it's for a medical training or it's for a camera or whatever. But what I found fascinating is watching the different students, the doctors, the nurses in training, how they react differently to the same character. So in one day you might see six or seven uh, different nurses or doctors in training and each one behaves with the same character with the same characteristics completely differently. So it's it's quite an, a view into the world of medicine uh, which doctors have a good bedside manner which need to work on their communication and I find that fascinating. Everyone that I've met here at IELTS uh, Medical they're all working extremely hard. They're very dedicated professionals who want to improve their skills. So when they're given notes by their instructors, you see them all internalizing, okay, how can I do this better? How can I better serve uh, my patients? In, in this situation, of course, it's made up, but in real life, it won't be. And one of the reasons that I do this is to play the characters fully to give the students a real-life equivalent if you're playing somebody with dementia, it's a whole different manner than when you're dealing with someone who doesn't have dementia. So if you play those characters fully, you give the students a chance to react in real time, in real life, without there being a medical risk of them you know, doing something wrong for a patient who's actually ill. I think in, you, have, you have book knowledge and then you have practical experience. What I think is a fantastic service that IELTS Medical is providing to the NHS, to Great Britain, is training their, their nurses and doctors uh, to react in real life situations. They're providing, having actors come in and playing um, uh, patients with different medical issues, um, they're forcing them to take their book knowledge and internalize it to make it a part of their bedside manner so that they better react uh, in real life. They'll be better doctors and nurses in a real life situation in an emergency room, in a doctor's office, or in a hospital when they have to treat patients who have similar or, or even different medical conditions. The acting forces the students to behave as a human being, not as a robot repeating from rote from a book. And that I think is a, a great, great service that IELTS Medical is providing. Well, when, I'm, when I know I have to uh, come to work here, uh, I get a write-up I get a write-up the day before or sometimes a few days before of which patient I'm playing and what that patient's medical history is, their personal history as well. Some of the patients are living in care homes. Some of the patients are still at home. And so, uh, you know, I prepare uh, to play that character during all of the sessions with the doctors and nurses in training. And so I come in and of course now we're in COVID, I'm not wearing a mask now, but generally I wear a mask and then uh, a nurse will come in, a nurse trainee will come in and go through what an actual session with a patient would be like. And it's my job uh, to behave Accordingly, if somebody communicates well with you as a patient, you react differently than when somebody seems like a robot who's not listening. And so I give back exactly what I'm getting uh, from, the, from the patients. And some of the students really hate me because I'm tough. <laughs>
<laughs> but I feel that it is in their best interest to try to give them as realistic a training as I possibly can. And so I work very hard to know the characteristics of the different character that I'm playing and their medical history. And, you know, if all of a sudden you start to cough in the middle of a session, you want your nurse or your doctor to react. And if they don't, it's like, eh, bad. No, not bad, but, you know, this is something you need to work on.